Here's how to clean your lobsters, and there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Let's say you're hosting a little gathering. You want to serve lobster on the half shell hot with butter for people to draw from. Take a sharp knife and working on a towel for safety, place the tip of your knife between where the two biggest claws meet and very purposely without re-stroking, come down the length of the lobster. You can crack it in half this way and your guests can take whatever they like if you want to crack the shells for them. So people don't need to use crackers. We would simply twist the tail meat, push it downwards on the shells, take the thin piece of the claw, give it a little wiggle, and pull out. Now there's a small piece of meat in there that you could save, you can Lay it right there. Then you use the back of your knife, not the front, because thin bladed knives will crack, and you can just place that on the plate. These little knuckle pieces have the best tasting meat inside them. I love the knuckles, but they're really easy to extract with a fork, and they're really easy for your guests to break. And you just do two quick strikes with the back of the knife, and then your guests can pull that claw out. Here's the other claw. Extract that, pull out with your fingers. Here's how to extract the knuckle meat. All of these different pieces of the lobster arm reticulate one way. So you just go in the reverse and crack it, and you can simply push that piece of knuckle meat out with your finger. My favorite tool, if you want to get really fancy and extract gorgeous looking pieces, just use a scissor. Peel away the shell where you have made the cut, and you can extract glorious whole nuggets. Next thing is the tail. First thing I do, bend backwards on the fan tail here. Really easy, you can see it came right out. If you're chopping for lobster salad, you can simply squeeze this together and crack it, and then pull apart. But you do run the risk sometimes of damaging the meat. If you're doing something really serious, if you're cooking like an Eric Repair Le Bernardin recipe, then by all means use a scissor. But that whole lobster tail will lift right out of the shell. Then very carefully lift up on the head. Now, there is a lot of meat all up inside these claws. You do not want the lungs. The lungs are garbage. So I always hold them over a bowl and just pull them away. But kind of like crab meat, all up in here are beautiful little pieces of knuckle meat. And of course, it's crowned by this piece of lobster roe. That's the eggs. They're black when raw. They turn red when cooked. And the tamale, which is also referred to as the mustard, which is my favorite part of the lobster to eat. Claw one. Claw two, knuckle meat a couple different ways. Excess little bits of roe and tamale that you can mix into your salad. Then most importantly, what to do with that tail meat. I like leaving the roe and the tamale end attached to it. And in this case, I'm just gonna firmly stroke once through. You can see how gorgeous that is with the roe. And there's that vein, just like a shrimp. So we wanna remove that vein. Just peel this back, find the vein, and just pull that vein away. Easy peasy lobster cleaning 101. Much simpler than you thought about. Who am I kidding? I'm not giving this to anyone. I'm eating this myself.